it may have been playing in the background at my grandma's house when I was like a little kid, but no recollection of that. Sabado Quijante. Something big. Giant Saturday. I'm half Mexican and I have never seen this show before. El Chocla de la Trompeta. Whoa, okay, so first first glance, they have some crazy outfits on. This dude is dressed up like a Power Ranger. This guy in the mask is so scary. Some kind of ninja. Okay, now they're all dancing. She's just singing and dancing. Oh my God, a lion just came out of the cave. Holy shit, what the? The lion comes and takes away the bad singers and eats them. This Power Ranger dude is their version of the Apollo broom guy that brooms your sorry ass off stage when you're sucking it up. And then the entire crowd chants as. <laughs> it's just, a, it's kind of up, but I mean like it's, it's, you know, it's entertaining, I get it. This lady's like Fran Drescher. They're having some kind of disagreement, but they're all smiling. Or maybe they're just speaking very enthusiastic Spanish. It's fun. It's like an interactive play along at home show. You never know what's gonna happen. So some dude in drag just came out, posing as a janitor for some odd reason. And now there's a stroller on stage. There's just like a lot going on. I'm speechless. Why are they all acting like this is so normal? No one in the audience, everyone's just like this. Oh, that's a lot of kids. The format is like a round table, but it's a bunch of children, so they're behaving like they're in kindergarten, and they're like, oh, Don Francisco, like, call on me. All of these kids seem to be under 10 years old, so that's pretty funny that they're so serious. This chick has some hard opinions on love. She also looks like a miniature woman. Hand motions and everything, she's like, uh-uh. Luis has been trying to get in for the last, like, two minutes, and she's just not having it. Costumes in the show are so bad. <laughs> I think that's the charm of it, I guess. They are small. <laughs> it's a lot of young women and way older guys. I'm not sure what pills he gave this guy. He's an old guy, so my mind's immediately going that they may be boner pills, but I'm not sure. Someone's having sex next door. The time she spent in the room with these two men have her tired. So I'm not really sure what she was doing. They had some weird, like, multi-generational threesome. I have no idea what just happened. I guess it met all my expectations now that I think about it. I thought it was gonna be loud, I thought it was gonna be exciting. It was really interesting. It was really colorful. It was very over the top. And, like, it's a big umbrella, this show, and you can kind of just throw in whatever you want. I mean, I'm really sad about it for, for the Hispanic community, especially if you grew up watching the show, or, you know, if it was kind of like a way to the family gathered to spend time together on Saturday nights. I mean, I know nothing will be able to replace it, but hopefully something can sort of come about for the generations to come.